Being live with Macaulay and my internet went out, of course. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and call her back in. Such a bummer. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bummed. Oh no, I know that was. So now we just start great. all over. I <laughs> Because it, does, it didn't like, it doesn't let you save it. So I can't, you oh, know. No. Oh my goodness. All okay. Right, well, anyways, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> we're back. So we'll just kind of shorten up the beginning. But basically, we're here to celebrate Miss Macaulay here as a um, gut health goddess. She joined the program and um, gosh, it was in January and um, was coming in because she was having these like painful attacks and wasn't really sleeping and just didn't want to, she wanted to live her life. She's like, I'm going to be 30. I'm going to, I want to be amazing. I want to do all the things. And I don't really want to be dealing with these issues in my gut. And I don't want to have to take laxatives. I just want to poo. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to speed through it. <laughs> so, so, um, Basically, the way the Gut Goddess Academy goes is there's different levels. And once you kind of really master gut health, then you graduate and you're a gut health goddess, which um, Macaulay is. And so I wanted her to talk about that. Like, she now is feeling really confident with food choices and with her body. She knows um, that she's, like, more regular. And if she's going to eat something, how she's going to respond. And that is super huge. And um, then we're kind of moving on to the next level of the Gut Goddess Academy, which is we're looking at mineral testing and hormones which is also very exciting and neurotransmitters and all the things because to just like up level in full body awareness you kind of have to hit that gut brain energetic connection and so I would love for you I'm so sorry to do this again <laughs> talk about um, you know what was going on and why you joined the program and um, what just was kind of like your breaking point and then your experience going through the program, some of the things that you learned and um, how you're feeling now. Yeah. Um, so I started getting these really painful attacks last summer um, and it was right before I turned 30. They were just like so painful. They would start with lower back pain and then go to my stomach and I would flush white. I would feel like I had to throw up or pass out. Like I had no idea what it was. Um, and then I realized my mom had had the same issues. So I was asking her what to do. You know, she'd been doing this for, thir she'd been having these same attacks for over 30 years. So I was, I was just asking her like what to do, you know? So I was taking laxatives every day, like four correct all three caps of Miralax, like, just so I didn't have the attacks. And I was just, like, about to turn 30. I wanted to, like, start a family, you know, like, start my life. And I was just like, I can't, I can't do this my whole <laughs> life, you know. There has to be some other way. Yeah. Um, so then I found Jamie, luckily, um, because you, like, completely changed my life, not only with just like the food, but it just changed everything. Like, you know, once I was able to go through everything and figure out like what wasn't good for my body, what was, and like actually see it in like a scientific test, you know, um, and just know like what my, I now I know like what my body wants and what it doesn't want. Um, and because I feel in control of my body, I feel like in control of my life and like more confident like I'm passionate about stuff, like I'm sleeping better, just everything <laughs> has like completely changed. So yes. Yeah. And I learned a lot. <laughs> I thought I always thought I ate healthy before. And then like, once I met you, I was like, Oh my God, what is what is ghee? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is everything? Water? Um, what about water? I know. Oh my god. I was just drinking this disgusting Utah water. And yeah, not when you do you remember? I try really hard not to like be like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> you were like, "Excuse me." <laughs> I was like, "Okay, I get it. I'm ordering a filter right now." <laughs> it's like you're drinking tap water. Oh my I lord! I know. Like, oh, water, stop. Okay, just yeah. Stop. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like these little things that you don't know. You know, I feel like a lot of people don't know, and like right. the same thing a lot of people think that 
it's normal to feel like that because you always feel like that and you don't know what it feels like unless you eliminate something, you know? Mm, yep. Yeah. Like, I was just like a shell of my, myself now, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I think that's the thing is like people just, it's hard to know how you can actually feel like it's hard to get into the mindset of thinking like if you always felt this way, like you don't know, like you said, yeah. you, were, you realize now that you were a shell. And I totally relate to that. Too. Like I realize now that my brain only was working at 5%. Yeah. <laughs> my body was only working at 5%. I now. know. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, I know. And that's why I want to share this, your story and share other people's stories so that people out there know that, you you don't even know like that you're you have so much more potential in your physical and mental and energetic state that you may not even realize so if you have any discomfort or anything that you think is maybe not normal going on within your body reach out um, yeah because you may be holding yourself back and you have no idea <laughs> yeah literally right. like no idea yeah. i thought headaches were normal like acne like everything is connected it's just so crazy you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. the gut brain connection is very real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just like learning that and like stress on the body and how to like, you know, like when I first wrote in my, what is it called? The f vision and expectations form. Like mm -hmm. I just wrote that I want to deal, like I want to change the way that I deal with stress and have it not like negatively affect my body and like, um, you know, just like deal with it in a better way and have my health and wellness like guide me through life mm -hmm. and my day to day and my happiness and relationships and everything. And that is just like 100% true now. It's crazy. <laughs> I know. That's so cool. I remember being like, do you like remember your health vision? And you're like, oh, I'm gonna go back and read it. And then you messaged me like, what? <laughs> I, awesome. know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> awesome. I know. And just having that, like that food confidence, you know, I think <clears throat> that's so important. And yeah. that the fact that you, um, what I really loved about you being, um, I mean, you're still, we're, you're, we're still working together, but, but you <laughs> being um, the gut health course, like you just did everything and you had a really open mind and you believed that you could do it and that your body was going to change. And um, I really loved that. Like there was a couple times where you definitely thought something was physical. And then I was like, you know, we have to go deeper. And so I'd ask yeah. you deeper questions. Yeah. But like, really, what is that? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> opened up the mental and then you really were able to on your own kind of hit that gut brain stress connection yeah right yeah I know I remember being like so worried and I would be like oh my god maybe it's this and maybe it's this but you know it wasn't it wasn't anything I was doing or taking it was just like what was behind I always say <laughs> you're like a guru ninja <laughs> like, I thought I was coming to you just for the attacks and then you're like no, <laughs> what is beneath it, you know, it was so true though. It's like everything is connected and it's crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So going through the program and kind of just, you know, the experience, you can tell everybody like what you felt like. So you do the journals and you kind of, you know, what did you notice by doing the journals daily? Like look, recording your food and how you feel before, yeah. after, and you know, like what, what kinds of things um, did you learn yourself from doing that? Like what was it? Yeah. I mean, not even being able to like go back and see, like, you know, I was able to like go back and see when my first attack was, but just like day to day, like thinking about how I feel like while I'm eating after what's going on during the day, you know, that like helps you immensely you know um and just I lost my train of thought what was I gonna say <laughs> like right now, oh just going uh, just going through it um I was like so overwhelmed at first because I was just like I'm allergic or not allergic sensitive to like everything you know <laughs> and I was just like I don't even know what to do I don't know what to get but like you know you helped me through like everything and now like my knowledge of food and like what is in what is like insane you know now I'm able to like help my 
fiance and like my mom and family and it's just awesome so yeah, yeah going through it was <laughs> uh it was crazy at first I was just like oh my goodness but then like you just pick it up quick and then you're just that's your life you know do you remember when you were first like so so basically you have to go through this process of elimination like we we do we do testing we figure out like you know what you're sensitive to or what's going on in the gut like what are all the things that are actually happening and then you have to we have to eliminate it and go through a protocol and we do that together and and then when you're allowed to start reintroducing i like do you remember when you were like oh my god i ate this and i was okay like i think you said i know point, like, there was like three months you're like I never would have thought like you know back to January that I could eat all of these things <laughs> yeah oh I know yeah the list I have a whole journal of the list that we went through just like my favorite things you know and just like being able to eat those and not have any reaction when I did have such a bad reaction just like a couple months ago is like so crazy right yeah. and you continue to be regular you know like yeah. you went from having to take all these laxatives and and not and then you know having to re so what we had to do everybody is we had to like retrain her body to be able to um have digestive function and have a bowel movement on its own because if, if you take laxatives for a long time or you or even like things like heartburn medicine or anytime you take something that disrupts the body's ability to do it on its own it, your body is always going to take the path of least resistance always and so I think we, we need to think about that because it's like this process where you have to retrain and sometimes it, it it's not great like it doesn't feel good to detox always it doesn't feel good to like have to go back to relying on your body after it started to rely on something else so Magali did a really great job of like you know she's like I'm scared I'm like it's okay <laughs> You're going to get through this. <laughs> yeah, now that you're talking about that, I'm just remembering how nervous I was to stop taking the laxatives. Like, it was just an anxiety. Like, I know that I'm not going to go, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's was... where the brain comes in of, like, the brain yeah. of, like, having to really get through, like, the what's deeper behind that nervousness and that anxiety and it yeah, yeah so so you did it and then you were able to go on your own and you kept that like when we reintroduced foods your body you healed and sealed your gut you know you did the cleanse you did the restore and you rebuilt and it's just so awesome you know yeah so I'm very proud of you <laughs> yeah. um and Let's see. So then you were also part of the, uh, oh, yeah, like we had the Goddess Uprising group. Yeah. How was yeah, that? Yeah, that helped too. That was like awesome. We need to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like the nurturer, like the, we went through like archetypes, like which type you are and like how it's just like a part of your, your DNA, you know? I thought that mm -hmm. was so cool. <laughs> and like mine was the nurturer and it was just like on point like a hundred percent like I'm not in my crown of roses when I'm, I'm I'm in my crown of thorns when I'm not speaking my truth and like you know just keeping it all in and that is like so true and it's just like helped me so much just to like separate what stress is mine me with speaking in public too I think just like talking to a group you know normally I'd be so nervous I am nervous right now but yeah, <laughs> yeah just like with so many so, things and like having a group of people that know like what you're going through you know and like powerful mm -hmm. women too mm -hmm. yes and that thing that I think what you're talking about there, which is also really important for women um, and for everybody to speak their truth, but I think especially women, we get energetic blocks, um, you know, in our throat, in our thyroid, and that causes issues. And that's part of the reason we talk about that is because it's part of the stress. Like a lot of times, you know, we have to think of stress as this huge you know, umbrella or it's part that comes at us at all. It's in all areas. So it's not just like, oh my God, I'm stressed out because of work or I'm stressed out because I'm arguing with somebody. There's also stress that comes, you know, internally, like let's say you have bad bacteria or a parasite. There's also stress from not feeling like you're fully in your power or you're fully able to speak your truth and tell people, hey, 
I'm yeah. not cool with that. Or, Hey, I don't want to do that. Like people, when you can't say no, <laughs> you know, like a lot of people are people yeah. pleasers. Yeah. So that's huge for stress. And like the whole point of the program is to lower yeah. stress. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that 100% just like not being able to speak it and like knowing that there's other women that are feeling this, it's just like so helpful, you know? Mm -hmm. and to be able to yeah. overcome that, you know, mm -hmm. internally and externally. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting lots of comments down here. There's um, uh, like talk <laughs> your mom, I think, talking about it's you know, definitely like, my mom, my sister. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> but it's so great. Oh, yeah. Family. But I love what your mom is saying. She's saying she was misdiagnosed from, um, from doctors for about 30 years. Okay. Yeah. Um, that she, you know, there's lots of IBS going on and really now she knows she has some food intolerances that you've helped her with, um, which is amazing. Yeah. And, you know, I love that you're able to, um, take what you've learned and kind of branch out and help yeah. people because that's so important. It's like pay it forward. <laughs> oh, I know. It's crazy. Well, it's just crazy how people just don't know any of the stuff that's like, you know, I didn't know it, you know? Mm -hmm. So to be able to like help people and I'm like so passionate about this now. It's all I talk about, you know, <laughs> I know I love it. And I but that is important is that you can't, I think that it's in, when it comes to, let's say doctors, uh, just to remember that there's a lot of different type of health practitioners and there's sick care and there's preventative care. And just because somebody is, uh, and I'm saying this with utmost respect, um, um, if somebody is, let's say, a doctor, doesn't, you know, everybody's trained in different things. Everybody has a specialty. Yeah. And sometimes different specialists are taught different things. And so one of the things we, we do is more a holistic, functional approach. And then I try to blend in that whole, you know, um, kind of the, the mindset piece, because I think that that's so important, but doing yeah. the functional test, but I just want people to know that if you feel like to trust your, trust your intuition and to trust your gut, because if you're going to a practitioner, whether it's a doctor or maybe it's not, you know, maybe it's a nutritionist, maybe it's, you know, if you feel like they're not listening to you and they're not, if they're telling you things that just it just does not connect with your intuition and your gut reach out to somebody else yeah. right that is super important because not everybody like is taught the same things and you need what's I think the most important is that you connect with that person that's going to be your guide and that they're listening to you right yeah 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 even my my dad was a doctor he was a lung specialist and like <laughs> He, you know, just listened to what the doctor said with my mom. And, you know, that's just what we thought was right. And right. Mm -hmm. it's just crazy. Yeah. Like you totally just like do the testing. This is actually what's happening, you know, like going behind and then the root, like the emotional part of it and just connecting both of them. It's like so important, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so how else, like, how else are you feeling now? What are you excited about now? Um, maybe tell her, so we've been doing yoga nidra sessions. Yeah. So that's really fun. How do you feel I, with those? Oh my God. I love it. It's just <laughs> like calm, especially the last one that we did. I just felt like all of my chakras were aligned, like totally just felt like a sense of calm and like, it's just been able to help me deal with stress so much and like on like an, an internal level you know like I do yoga and stuff but just to be able to like visualize and have someone help you through it it's just like helped so much I love the yoni, yoga nidra <laughs> good yeah. yeah okay and so what's so what's next for you so we're still on some protocols which are really yeah. exciting but um, is there anything else like transformation wise that you'd like to share with people just to help them feel like, you know, if they're going through something, um, you know, don't wait until it's too late or, you know, like, if yeah. you, you know, how, how would you like to share that message with people? Just that, like, if you're feeling anything is wrong, like, tr like you said, trust your intuition, trust your gut, just like try it you know like it could totally change your life like thank god i called you i was about i was just thinking when you were talking about doctors i was gonna call like 
get like a colonoscopy or like <laughs> who knows what and you know like I could have spent like years just trying to figure out what it was and been the same person like mm -hmm. I've just been able to like trust my intuition trust myself lower my stress and like that's made just such a difference not only with like never mind the physical aspect of it like now I'm like regular I'm going every single day it went before we did this live <laughs> <laughs> so yeah any anything that like acne or headaches or if it's like super intense with just like please call Jamie because she changed my life <laughs> seriously yeah, I mean, just reach out. And I think that's the most important thing. You can start with a conversation. Like I said, if you just don't feel, if you feel like you could be having more potential mentally, physically, energetically, or you just feel like something's off, I think we know, you know, like yeah. we know. And and it, it just have a conversation. Like I said, you could have a conversation with me, you could have a conversation with Macaulay. I mean, she just went through it. <laughs> she, she's right there with you. Yeah, um, totally. But, just reach out because you don't have to live this way. And it's more important to do. And it is a process. I want everybody to know that too, that this isn't always cut and dry and it's, it's, and it's an evolution and a transformation and it's a process. And sometimes it takes longer than you think it would take and, and not getting frustrated. I think one of the other things that's important for anybody who's on some sort of um, transformational change or protocol, you know, you have to love yourself and you have to, um, be gentle with yourself and not be impatient because mm -hmm. sometimes we have these expectations and this isn't a pill. <laughs> it's a transformation. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's not. And then it took how many years to get here. It might take a while to get back, you know? Yeah. And like, I think back to, I mean, I've been on my health journey. I, I guess I don't even, I'm really bad at math, but probably <laughs> for, I mean, I was like, Okay, so I'm 44. I was, I think I started when I was 32. Oh, so whatever wow. that, 14 years. Um, and, you know, thinking like the, how difficult, because I had nobody to help me and I had to do it all on my own. And like how, if you know, how thinking like how all I just, I just kept saying, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I believe in, I'm, I can heal. I can heal. And that is a missing link. And that's where the yoga nidra comes in is there's a, there's this missing link that people I think just beat themselves up because they feel like they're not doing it fast enough. They're not doing yeah. it good enough. And you just have to be loving and gentle with yourself and not honestly, not listen to anyone else. Right. Yeah. Like stop listening to the chatter. If you tell people what you're doing and they're not supportive, then back off. Like, I know. Yep. you know, you yeah. know, and right. And like, yeah, not, like, I thought work. I was crazy. <laughs> they did? <laughs> They're just like, are you serious? Like, when they look at, like, the list of stuff, you know? But, like, with you, it's your life, you know? Like, clearly it meant something to me. So just, like, trust in yourself and that it will – I mean, I felt, like, impatient at first maybe, but I just, like, let it flow. This is going to, like, work itself out, you know? Like, I trust in myself. I trust in my body. I can do this, you know? That's yeah. a huge part of yeah. yeah. And also it's so important too to like, I think let your family and your friends, the one, the, the people that are around you um, know right away, like right away, Hey, whether you believe in what I'm doing or not. Yeah. Oh wait, I can't hear you for some reason. Oh, there you are. Hello? I think you're muted. I think you're muted. <laughs> Can you hear me, Mom? 